airport. Yeah, that flight was quite hectic. We with the door open because my bags don't fit. Yeah, we were so delayed. It was a thunderstorm, rain. So I will catch up when I'm at Kerry's house because it was quite, it's been hectic. Hey guys. So I've been really, really bad. I haven't, I've been in South Africa since Ooh, last week Friday, not Thursday night, but it doesn't count because our plane, which I didn't video, I think I might have a video on my phone, our plane got stuck, not stuck, I don't want to exaggerate, reroute, 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 reroute. Okay, so on Thursday night we flew through like a huge thunderstorm and we had to fly around it, which delayed us like another half an hour. Then we couldn't get out the plane because it was raining hard but it wasn't didn't look that hard and they made us stay in there for another half an hour so by the time I got from our Tembo to Rand Park it was like 10 o'clock at night so yeah Thursday doesn't count I went straight to bed <laughs> uh, and then Friday we tried to do a little bit of shopping and then Saturday was Black Friday which was crazy and then Sunday we were really hung over because we did karaoke night just the two of us on Saturday which was ridiculous, <laughs> literally we sang karaoke in front of the TV until 3 a.m. And then Monday, which was yesterday, yeah, yeah, yesterday, try to finish up some shopping. So I've been literally flat out busy. Um, and today is the day I get my stitches out. I am so excited. I'm not really excited to get them out. I'm like the process of getting them out because I know it's gonna be so sore. I don't know if it's gonna be sore, I'm a wimp. My pain threshold is basically like zero. So, um, because the stitches have been in there since the 6th of October or the 15th, I can't remember, when was my operation? 6th, 15th, I don't know, they've been in there for a while, so I think they're like stuck to the skin, so then when they take them out it's going to look like pulling the skin, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm excited to finally wear a bikini and wear anything other than a bloody medical grade bra. So that's what's exciting. But yeah, I'm all ready. Just in comfies and we, me and Kix are gonna grab some lunch. I'm in her room now, got the best light in here. We're gonna go grab some lunch and then we will make our way to um, Pretoria, Mainland, to the hospital called Sinto Care in Mainland, Maine. So it's gonna be quite a drive from here. But <sighs> I just wanna get it over and done with. And then I fly home, first flight out tomorrow morning and start getting Christmas decor up at the house. So I'm very excited. I've finally done my shopping. I didn't buy one thing for myself. That is so not like me. I bought zero for myself. I literally put myself before everyone else when it comes to shopping, but this time I didn't. I literally bought Melky Knight's presents. Um, I'm gonna tell you what they are because he stalks my YouTube. Um, and I bought Presents for presents for people <laughs> that forgot to buy presents. So I got quite a bit of stuff, but nothing for myself, which I'm actually quite proud of because I don't actually need anything. I just love shopping. But anyway, I had a birthday voucher from Cotton On because my birthday is on Sunday and I haven't even gone to Cotton On. So I'm pretty irritated about that. But anyway, there's bigger problems in the world. Um, yeah, I think Keeks has finished um, school. So let's go see what she's doing. We're having leftover Lady and the Tramp with a nice mushroom. And then we will head to the hospital, but um, we might stop over at a mall first because we still have a lot of time. We literally ran inside the mall um, at Brooklyn in Pretoria and I did a little bit of shopping. Not much, I just got pajamas literally. And then, yeah, everything, it's, don't you find when you go on holiday, that when people ask you for stuff, not on holiday, just to South Africa, if you're from Zimbabwe, and people ask you for, for stuff, you can never ever find it in the shop. The specific thing they ask you for, you just can't find it, but when they look, they find it, so it's, yeah, it's really difficult. Anyway, I am sweating, hope I don't, hope I don't smell. Um, we're on the way to the doctor now, and then the stitches are coming out. I'm not gonna vlog in there. Malcolm vlogged me the last time, and I think Kiri might be shy. <laughs> so I'll see you when I get out. Stitches are out! <laughs> um, yeah, 
they took the stitches out. It was like a weird stitch. It was like curled on the inside and they pulled it out like a long fishing wire. And then this side got stuck and it was so sore. Well, it wasn't excruciating, but it was like, like stuck in my skin, like how I imagined it would be. It was like, didn't want to come off. But anyway, um, stitches are out, so I'm really happy. I've just got the special tape on now and then the, the scar stuff. I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, so I have to keep this tape on for six weeks minimum um, and or 12 weeks if I can. But I can swim with it, I can bath with it on and then I only take it, only replace it every few days because um, it's very sticky. So yeah, we're just on the highway on the way back to Joburg now and I don't know what the fuck is going on here but um, there must be a crash or something because we are literally like stuck with trucks broken down or whatever so yeah welcome to Joburg life literal anyway secretly glad I live in Bulawayo I don't have to deal with this shit and sometimes there is actually traffic there believe it or not not really but yeah in Harare there is um but yeah I will show you my tips when I get home and <laughs> of drama at the airport when well not at the airport just before I came back the news said that um, there was gonna be a full quarantine in Bulawayo um, and as soon as I landed I'd have to go quarantine but luckily um, the SI the statue instrument wasn't out in time when I landed so um, and it's still not out yet because there's so many measures to put together so I landed and I managed to come straight home so everything was a bit of a rush the day before I left it was all like quite scary I wasn't I didn't know if I was gonna go because I wasn't gonna leave South Africa I've had to quarantine so yeah but I don't know if you can see the state of me I'm a little bit poorly today I woke up sick Malcolm's sister's sick the baby's sick Kerry had tonsillitis in South so I don't know if I got a bug from them um, but yeah, anyway, stitches out. I just have this medical tape on that I have to keep on um, to like to minimize scarring. And then I put like a scar cream on top of the tape. So it's on both sides. And that stays in for 6 to 12 weeks just to help my scars and for the scars to be... My scars are much better because he like redid... He cut off all the old scars. And like he restitched new skin back together, so they're really thin. My last scars were terrible because I ripped them in the airplane when I put my bag up. Um, when I flew back from the operation, the first one, I put my bag up and I just heard, and I ripped them. So, yeah, this is what they looked like when I ripped them. It was really gross. They were, it like tore on the one side and they were still stitching inside, so they had to oh, flip. I don't even know. When I talk about it, it actually gives me the heebie jeebies. The lighting here is actually really, really terrible, but I have to do a um, home COVID test because I'm feeling a little bit shitty and it's my birthday. Flip, I can't even think. I've got like such bad brain fog. When is my birthday? I'm like not normal today. It's my birthday on Sunday. Yeah, it's my birthday on Sunday. I've done one before, but it's like I always forget how to do it. So, yeah. So, Where's the little tray? Okay, so this thing. Okay, hold on. Let me read. Stop marching up and down here, babe. Where are you? Where are you? Nothing. Are you angry? I'm not angry, babe. I want to do my COVID test. Thank you. 
Oh, that was terrible. That was the pitfall. How long many seconds am I meant to do this game? See, I've got such a bad brain fog. Okay, now I'm gonna put the one, two, three drops on there, and then we wait and find out. I don't think it's COVID though. <laughs> I have COVID, I'm actually, I'm gonna cry. bath and I'm gonna update you all. Sorry my voice is a bit oh, um I'm just putting my scar pair on my scars so I've got the tape on um and yeah I'm just gonna put some scar stuff over you put it like over the tape and absorbs into the scars. Now, yesterday I woke up with a super croaky throat and just feeling hot. I took COVID, <coughs> COVID tests and um, one was positive and I was like, nah, surely not. This can't be because I just flew home on Wednesday and my test on Tuesday came out negative and it's Thursday and I'm positive. So I was like, what? What is going on? I haven't been in contact with anybody with COVID that I know of. I didn't eat anything at the airport, I didn't eat anything on the plane, but oh, it could have been anything, could have been literally anything. Could have been the mall on Saturday at Black Friday, but anyway. I went to take another test and it was also positive. Malcolm's test is negative, everyone else I was going to contact with, and their test is negative, but they're going to go again after five days just to make sure. Um, but I haven't really been in contact with anyone except Malcolm's family, which they are all on the radar for testing, so um, yeah, I am. COVID positive. It's my first time having it since it came out and in terms of symptoms and stuff, I'm hot. I'm quite um, hot. <laughs> I've got a treatment in my hair. What better time to do it than when you're isolated? Um, been isolated, not really doing much because of my operation. Now I'm isolated again and it's my birthday tomorrow. So I'm having a COVID at home quarantine birthday. I feel so bad because Malky planned a whole surprise for me and my friends are going to come and he planned a pamper day with my friend Danny and now it's all cancelled because I am infected. The side of my throat is really really sore. I've got like all my glands are right out here. Um, I'm a bit disoriented like my, my brain's not functioning properly at all and um, with the medicine that I'm taking now for uh, the COVID, like I'm on like a cocktail of five different things that I've been prescribed. Uh, I can't take my ADHD medicine and my antidepressants make me sleep if I take those with this. So I'm literally, yeah, I'm not winning at the moment, but I'm hoping it's only a five day course, my medicine, my COVID medicine. So it will hopefully help by then and then I can start taking my meds because I'm really feeling like out of sorts. Um, body ache, back pain and congestion in my nose and my head and when I wake up in the morning it's so sore it feels like it's gonna absolutely burst like but now when I medicate my head's much better so from compared to this morning I'd say I woke up four out of ten this morning and now I would say I'm probably a six out of ten um and I'm comparing it to the worst I ever felt when I had a bad flu when I was living in London I got really sick I don't know what I caught, I caught some virus, I don't know what it was, but it was before COVID times and I was so sick. I was, I remember it being one degree outside and I had my windows open and I was like lying as close to the wind as possible because my, I just had this fever, my sheets were wet and I felt really, really sick. So this is nothing compared to that. So I have been... Someone knocking at the gate. Hey. Someone knocking at the gate. Hey. Oh. Okay. Um, I've just been told to come through to the lounge. I was told to I come.
Oh my goodness, how sweet is that? I'm just having a quick wee. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so sweet. So I'm going to sit outside and have a glass of champagne while I can still taste with my husband. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>